Good afternoon, MMTs. We're looking at this big, big Buffalo Wild Wings again. Every time it gets overbought, and this is a daily chart, and we're just going to kind of run through it because we're going to look at the 125 and the 130 puts. Here is a multi-year high. And it ran up in sympathy with what? Here's the last pullbacks that we shorted. And we had did some other ones over in here. And we had did some over in here. But nonetheless, all the way up going long is, is that we made a series of many higher highs with the pullbacks that have happened. Now we are going to get another pullback in the stock, period. So what I'm going to do is show the MMTs the following. Okay, here's what's very important. This is a daily chart. We have entered phase one overbought. We can continue to kind of grind up a couple dollars higher here or there. However, we will be due for a pullback. We had one, two, three, four, five days here and a couple of nice little days in here. And now we're ready for another series as high as this is. Is, is that this is overbought stage one and stage two is coming very near that's coming up on us tomorrow on Monday so basically what we're going to do is we're going to do the following we're going to make sure that you specifically understand how to be involved and what does that mean it means the following Stockmarketfunding.com has all the latest updated analysis before the fact, before the move goes up or down, shorting stocks, going long stocks, buying puts, buying calls, making markets as market makers. That's what we do best. And we do it and we do the analysis like we're doing now. And the rest of today's analysis for next week will be uploaded. And we're starting out with Big Bellwether Apple. But nonetheless, go to the trading tab, click on free trial, get started here, get started here today. Let's do that. Then when you enter the free trial, we will talk about the various things you would want to know. All your questions will be answered when you call me. If you want to learn on what opening an account is and getting trading capital, please go to the open the account page. Hit open an account, read the terms and conditions, watch the video. Is the pattern day trading rule hurting you? It probably is if your account's below 25000 You can get intraday buying power allocated to your account that you can trade directly with the optional services from the SMF market maker division. Go to trading, read SMF Options Exchange, Stock Exchange, we have our own price prints. The management behind you is those market makers giving you the order, the limit order to get in, and the exit and the stop and everything that you would need to have the good management behind you and the stop market management behind you. But most importantly, when you're using that trading capital, you don't have to have any experience. You get in here right away and you simply submit the limit order. Now, back to the Buffalo Wild Wings. We're extremely overbought. On the weekly chart, which I'm going to show a good view of, by the way. So let's just go to um, some of the charts that we feel that are most important. The weekly is above that Bollinger Band. But nonetheless, is that we have gotten into the range of an overextended area. I'm going to feature the following. BWLD reports quarterly earnings on October 29th. I have before the MMTs and our trading staff around the world is Buffalo Wild Wings 125 puts that are marked down here. The reason why we're interested in them is because they're wholesale at five and a quarter. The stock that we've already showed you is at all-time highs we can clearly see that that 125 area has a little bit more upside room but not much the reason why the stock has ran too far too fast in anticipation of a great earnings report if there's even a slight miss in those earnings on October 29th 
there could be a big downfall. However, Chipotle Mexican Grill did extremely well. A lot of your other uh, outlets in this sector, in the restaurant sector, fast food sector and whatnot, have missed their earnings. It's a mixed bag in the whole picture. But what makes it attractive is how the risk now has been taken all the way from the highs over here of $8.80 down to $5.25. These particular options don't move a lot. But if they miss their earnings and gap down, we can buy some of the five to, these below 525. So if, if Buffalo Wild Wings, BW, and we did CMG, so same thing, BWLD, Buffalo Wild Wings goes up a little bit higher. These prices will only come down just a little bit. The risk reward ratio. When a stock is extremely overbought going into earnings and buying the puts that it falls below $125 per share is in our favor based on the risk of the deflated price. It's down here. You're not buying them up here at $8. You're buying them $3 below that price. So that takes a lot of the capital dollar risk out of the trade. Once again, we have featured the charts. We have featured the weekly breakout. It's been a, the last four weeks we've gone parabolically up. We've had pullbacks when they get overbought. It's not a bad company. We're not saying that. This is all very short term. The MMTs who will be reviewing this will have their trade setups for tomorrow and October 29th earnings season. And once again, the live analysis is done before the fact. And so what we're saying in this name is, is that a lot of people eat chicken wings during football season. We're in it right now. And some of these stocks have done okay, but a lot of them have not. And what we're saying is that we're looking at the 125 puts because the stock on all metrics is in that phase one overbought category. That I can tell you right now. So on the weekly level, we're at 90% DS overbought. That's getting high up there for this particular type of range in this particular type of beta stock right here it's high low ranges daily so I'm going to conclude BW LD Buffalo Wild Wings and I'm going to conclude the 125 puts and the trade management that goes into the October 29th earnings overbought stock